been training mixed martial art for a couple of years. Before that, I've been training Muay Thai. That's how I, you know, started in this whole martial art um, hobby <laughs> or passion. Yeah. Uh, I think learning self defense is a very important thing, with especially with so many cases, attack cases going on, um, especially the most recent one where there was a, a lady, she was attacked, um, you know, near her car with, with her kids together. You know, it's very heartbreaking. So I sometimes think about what would, how would it turn out if she actually know some kind of self-defense or some kind of martial art? Because self-defense or martial art, it doesn't only teach you the technique, you know, it's not only for competition, I think it's for everyone because it teaches you how to conquer your fear. It gives you that certain confidence to, you know, to fight back, you know, when uh, you're being attacked. So I think that everyone should join or s should take some kind of self-defense or martial arts class. I don't think it should be, you know, there should be some discrimination or, you know, it should be stereotyped as a male sport because there's nothing such as a male sport. You know, we've seen a lot of sports out there that, you know, women and men actually partake in it. So I don't believe in the fact that, you know, I don't believe in the uh, perception that mixed martial art should only be, you know, uh, only should should only be by done by male male fighters or male athletes, you know? I think uh, female athletes also has a capability. I think with so many female fighters out there for so many years, it kind of like proven, addresses that perception, yeah. I've always taken myself to be, you know, more of an outdoorsy person. I've been, I've always been active. Uh, before this, you know, during the weekends, I would be out there, either sea kayaking, whitewater rafting, and doing all such, so many extreme sports. So when I started to go to a gym, actually I saw AJ training some guys. So I was like, what were they doing? So I tried to check out, they were doing mixed martial art. Uh, I'm sorry, Muay Thai. Then from then on, um, I joined the class and I've never skipped ever. Uh, yeah, I think never skip ever. I've been training daily ever since. And then um, AJ actually introduced me to mixed martial art and I started loving it and that's, you know, the rest is history. <laughs> you know, they're very friendly. Actually, we all had fun. We had a blast training. So they weren't skeptical at all. Actually, everyone was encouraging each other to, you know, continue to come training. We would, like, contact each other whether there's training or not. And uh, I think that's what brought us together and brought us to even love the sport. I'm excited, really. I'm thrilled. Um, first of all, I would like to thank, thank One FC for giving me the opportunity. Uh, I think it's a dream because um, so far there hasn't been any uh, Malaysian female fighter, and I know for a fact that this is the second bout that there's a female fight card. So it's an honor, and uh, I'm proud to represent Malaysia as the first female fighter fighting in One FC. My main focus would be to focus on myself. You know, the most important thing is to get in shape, to get fit for the fight, and you know, to be prepared. That's the whole focus right now, yeah. I've been training hard for this. I've been sacrificing a lot for this. So yes, there's a lot of hopes and expectation on it. Malaysians, show me some love. Come and support me as the first Malaysian female fighter fighting in One FC this October 18th at Singapore. Head on down to Singapore. It's gonna be a mind-blowing event. You're never gonna regret this. <laughs>